In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, make sure your opportunities in Salesforce are syncing to Pardot. So to start off, let's log into Pardot, go ahead and click on prospects, and then find a prospect that should have an opportunity, um, or one that you know has an opportunity, whether or not it's, it's showing up. So with every edition of Pardot, opportunities should sync to Pardot and be available for segmentation and, and for use within your marketing. Now, when an opportunity is successfully linked to a contact in Salesforce, uh, it'll show up in Pardot under the Prospect Activities area. So here you can see we've got our prospect, Johnny Rose, and under Activity, we've got New Opportunity and Opportunity Associated Actions being taken. Now, the other place where you can find opportunities related to an individual is under the tab right here in their prospect record. So click on opportunities and here we can see a little more details about this particular one, Rose Video 10, 10 widgets. Uh, zero value at this point, current stage, what its probability is, etc. And if you click on it, you can see uh, even, even more details and you can see activities specifically related to that prospect and that opportunity. So by default, this should come across into Pardot. Now, if you think you're missing opportunities, it's probably because that contact within Salesforce isn't actually directly related to the opportunity record. So let's go back to our prospect overview page here and click on the link that takes us to the Salesforce version of this contact record. From here, we can see an opportunity is related. So this is really important. The contact must be related to the opportunity for Pardot to see it. It's not enough for the opportunity to be really related to that contacts account, which is required within Salesforce. So right here, contact roles on the lower right, this is where you need to have that contact listed in order for Pardot to see it. This is because Pardot is primarily focused on individual people within your database. It sees all the data in Salesforce through the lens of that individual person. And so not having that direct connection between person and deal means Pardot doesn't really know where to put it and can't see it, so you can't use it in your marketing. So that's the main thing here. Just make sure this contact role area is filled out. Now, by default, you're gonna have all the standard fields, or nearly, um, available to you within Pardot for your segmentation. If you do wanna add extra fields uh, and have more fields than just the standard ones available to you within Pardot, you can do that by going to Pardot settings, object and field configuration, opportunity fields. And this is the area where you can add custom fields within Pardot, so you're just mapping what already exists within Salesforce so that you can view that data within Pardot and use it in your marketing. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.